Hello guys, welcome to my video. My name is Dina Andambianti from class 11 grade science 2. Today, we will learn about grammar. Are you excited? So, today I will explain to you about past perfect tense and the example. Let's go! So, now I'm gonna explain to you about past perfect tense. We will start about the definition and then the purpose to use it. First definition, the past perfect tense is used to show that something happened before another action in the past. It can also be used to show that something happened before a specific time in the past. Number two, purpose. The past perfect refers to a time earlier than before now. It's used to make it clear that one event happened before another in the past. It doesn't matter which event is mentioned first. The tense make it clear which one happened first. Once we found out what's past perfect tense, we will discuss about the formula past perfect tense. The first one is the positive form, subject plus head plus verb three plus object. The second one is the negative form, subject plus head plus not plus verb three plus object. And the third is the a sentence, head plus subject plus verb three plus object. Example number one, the positive form, Tati had met me last week. The negative form, Tati had not met me last week. The ask sentence, had Tati met me last week? Number two, the positive form, we had given the prize to Eddie yesterday. The negative form, we had not given the prize to Eddie yesterday. The ask sentence, had we given the prize to Eddie yesterday? Other formula. The first one is the positive form, subject plus head plus bin plus object. The second one is the negative form, subject plus head plus not plus bin plus object. And the third is the as sentence, head plus subject plus bin plus object. Example number one, the positive form, she had been here before 1999. The negative form, she had not been here before 1999. The as sentence, had she been here before 1999. Number two, the positive form, they had been at home when I came. The negative form, they had not been at home when I came. The a sentence, had they been at home when I came? Now, let's see how to use past perfect tense in a legend or folklore. The title of this story is A Legend of Yambi. Once upon a time, there lived in Sumatra Island a very beautiful girl, Putri Pinang Masa. The girl was also a very kind-hearted person. This made everyone like her so much. Many yacht and prince from other countries desired her to be his wife. Nevertheless, she refused their proposals because she had not wanted to get married yet. One day, there was a very wealthy king. The king of the East Kingdom coming to her village, he proposed to marry her. Putri Pinamasa was afraid to refuse the king's proposal although she actually didn't love the king, the ugly faced man at all. She knew that the king would be very angry and there would be a battle if she refused his desire. Putri Pinamasa was so confused, then she got an idea to refuse the king's proposal. Then she said to the king that she accepted his proposal on one condition. The king should be able to build a very large and beautiful castle complete without of the home appliance in one night. The work must be finished before the rosters crowded. And if he failed to fulfill the condition, the king had to hand over his kingdom and all of the wealth to her. For the sake of Putri Pinamasa, his sweetheart girl, the king agreed with the condition. Soon, he invited thousands of skillful people from all over the country, even from other countries, to do the work. And they began to do the colossal work building the castle soon after the sun had set. The king himself controlled the people. 
Exactly in the midnight, half of the castle was completely down. Nevertheless, it looked very beautiful, and when it was nearly down, all the work was almost completely down. Putri Pinangmasa, who had been spying on them all night, became dispirited. She realized that the condition she proposed to the king was only her way to refuse marrying him. And when the castle was only decorating and tidying the wall and the garden, Putri Pinangmasa went to the roster house. She liked many likes to make roster crow. Hearing the crowing of the rosters, the king stopped the words doing their work. He remembered the agreement that the whole work should be finished before the roster crowed. Then Putri Pinangmasa came to meet the king, and the king admitted that he had failed to fulfill the condition build a castle in one night. Then he gave up on his desire to marry Putri Pinangmasa. Even he handed over his kingdom and all of his wealth to her. Since then, Putri Pinangmasa became the princess of the East Kingdom and people changed the name of the kingdom into Putri Pinangmasa Kingdom. Meanwhile, the kings from Japa Island called it with Jambi Kingdom the word Jambi came from Jambe that had equivalent as the pinang, a kind of small palm fruit. Example of past perfect tense in the story are Number one, she had not wanted to get married yet. Number two, soon after the sun had set. Number three, Putri Pinang Masa, who had been spying on them all night, become desperate. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Bye!